Okay. Hey guys, um, it's Monday, which means it's Monday, and you get to see my video, unless you're not watching this on Monday, which never occurred to me until just now. Um, let's see, the Gatter haircut showed off. I think this is the second haircut I've had since I've been on the channel. Not that that's that important. Um, uh, I don't know. I have a swivelly chair. It's entertaining. Um, and that's about it. With updates of me. Um, oh, I went to this really interesting, uh, like, educational discussion talk thing with a sex researcher last week. It was pretty cool. Um, it had to do with, uh, like, women being uneducated, almost, about the appearance and perception of their own genitalia, specifically the inner labia. Or, which I thought was interesting, but wasn't all new to me. Um, but I just thought it was interesting. And, yeah. Um, so, the topic this week, I, well, topic, theme, whatever you want to call it, um, I kind of came up with, not kind of, I came up with it. Um, I don't know if it's good, but, regardless, we're going to be talking about relationships, long-term, whether or not you're a long-term relationship kind of person or someone who doesn't see themselves settling down or what have you. Um, so, just jump right into that. Um, growing, when I was, okay. I feel like when girls are, when female, hmm, how do I say this? I feel like as girls are growing up, there's like this want to get married and have kids and, you know, that's like the norm. Um, but I, I never really experienced that when I was growing up. I mean, before I even, you know, questioned my sexuality or my sexual orientation or anything, before any of that became apparent to me, I never thought about being with someone and being with them for the rest of my life or having kids for having kids not something I want to do um but just the idea to me was kind of out there and um not really something I wanted um but I think now that I'm older and I've actually dated and whatnot I could see myself settling down with someone. I don't know that I could ever see myself having kids, but it, I, I don't see myself as a single person for a long period of time. But at the same time, I don't know that I could spend my life with someone for the, like, spend the rest of my life with someone. like. Ten years seems like a really long time to be with one person. And I'm 20. So, that just seems like a long time. I, I, I'm still figuring it out. Clearly, I'm not to the point where I want to settle down. But I like the idea of it. I like the idea of, you know, being with one person. For the rest of your life. But at the same time, it's like, man with one person for the rest of your life. Maybe it just takes the right person to make you see it and really want it and know that, yeah, this is what's right, you know? Um, I don't know. I guess I'm still growing and evolving in that area of life, which is totally cool because I'm only 21. Um, yeah. I don't know if I'll be with one person for the rest of my life, but I'd like to think that I could. 
as unsure of that as I sound. I'm s sort of more sure than I... I don't know. I don't know. Um, but it could be cool to be with someone. You know, because then there's like... You have a house together, and you live together, and you experience things together. But it, but then I, I think about it, and I just keep getting to the same point where it's like, man, one person. Not that I'd want to be with multiple people at the same time, by any means. That's not my thing. But I find my I I find that I get bored after a while in relationships, even after like a year what's 20 like my parents have been married for like 25 years I'm sure they're bored of each other like they're considering getting a divorce like how do you how do you keep it interesting and want to I, it's it's just gotta be that person that's what I've come to I'm glad we could come to this realization together yeah it's gotta it's, it has to be that, like, it'll all make sense when you meet that one person, right? I mean, to me, that's how it's gonna be. Um, okay, uh, the challenge-ish thing this week is to talk about your favorite thing to eat and, um, talk about... Um, or cook or bake, um, and then talk about a recipe or something that you'd be interested in cooking, baking, making in some fashion. Okay, um, so recently I've been cooking and baking quite a bit. Well, not quite a bit, but certainly throwing around recipe ideas. Um, because I'm going to, you know, it has to do with my business, um, that I plan on starting, which I might have found a truck today. Um, but that's completely unrelated. Um, my favorite thing to cook... Hmm. I really like lasagna. Oh, gosh, I haven't had lasagna in years. Not years. Yeah, years, actually. It has been multiple. Um, it's so tasty and awesome. Uh, I really like cooking chicken as well. I'm good at that. Chicken's easy. Um, but I like things that are, you know, interesting. Um, I I baked this uh, cranberry banana bread the other day. <laughs> Shit, was it good. Like, whoa. Gluten-free. Didn't, you couldn't tell. It was just so awesome. And, like, the balance of the sweet banana and, like, the spicy cinnamon nutmeg with the tart cranberry. Mm, perfect. Um, anyway, so one thing I've been looking into making and figuring out a good recipe for is um, a gluten-free sandwich bread. Um, just gluten-free breads in general and um, things like that. Because I have to figure out good recipes for my future business and what works and how to make it before I actually get into it and have no idea what I'm doing. So I'm trying to figure all that out first. So that's what I'm working on recipe wise. Um, which should be good. I mean I think it's going well. And like I said I might have found a truck. How cool is that? Um, awesome only like eight thousand dollars which might be a little sketchy but we'll see right never hurts to ask um i feel like i should have tea or something to go along with my talk I normally have tea but instead i substitute swivelly chair to occupy my adhd-ness and i have glasses on today this doesn't ever happen but i'm at a good angle with sun and light so there's not much glare unless I go like this or like that uh, <laughs> anyway this is Ben Mondays with Molly I like that my name 
and my day of the week both start with N. It's fun. Um, got nothing else for you. See you guys next week. I hope it's a killer week, and you have a great day and great everything. It's gonna be fucking cool. Oh, and spring! Hell yeah! Happy spring. Oh, and happy April. It's April Fool's Day. I could have pranked you all. Damn! Well, missed that opportunity, I guess. Anyway, it's long enough now, and this is me, being goofy. Hope you guys enjoy. And don't be afraid to stop by and say, hey, I'm pretty friendly. Cool. <laughs> Have a nice week. Talk I won't talk to you guys later. No one ever talks to me. Um, but I will talk next week and stop rambling. Bye, guys.